Okay, good afternoon. Um, this is now uh, Unit 8, Section 3. This is the first handout. And here we're going to evaluate functions. So basically we're given a function here. It says find the function when m is, where w is m minus 2. So anywhere where I see an m, I'm putting m minus 2 in there. So I'm just going to draw a line and say there it goes right, I'm going to put it in right there for m. Let's see what we have. So we have four, two parentheses, m minus two, and then I have another minus two outside of it. So again, this is just basic substitution. So let's see what we have here. Uh, distribute the two. So here's what it looks like, four then, and then I have two m, two times two is negative four, and I also have a minus two sitting there. So final answer, 4 is my power, and then I have 2m, minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. So there is my final answer. Hopefully that wasn't too bad for you. Interesting, they gave you a real hard one to start out with. Number 3, so here is my function, b of q equals 4q squared plus 7q. I'm going to substitute negative 7 anywhere I see a Q in my question. Again, substitution. So I start out with then four parentheses, negative seven squared plus seven times negative seven. Again, substituting all the way, that's all I have to do there. So that's gonna be four times 49, negative times a negative is positive, plus 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. So you evaluate that on your calculator and you should get 147. Okay, so hopefully these, these aren't so bad. Alright, next one, so number 5. Negative 2, I'm substituting in to that spot and that spot. Again, it's just substitution. That's all you have to do. Substitution every single time. So we have negative 2 to the third power plus 5 parentheses negative 2 squared. So let's evaluate this a little bit. Negative 2 cubed, when I get all done, that's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which would be negative 8. Plus negative 2 squared, that's negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4. And then 5 times 4 is 20. So negative 8 plus 20, that gives us 12. And we're all done. Alright, number 7. Now it gets a little tricky here because, oh, I got all of this to substitute in right there. So that means wherever I see a y, I'm putting all of this in, both the y minus 11. So this turns out to be negative 4, parentheses, y minus 11. Now all I had to do is distribute then. So negative 4y, a negative times a negative is positive 44. All done. Again, notice I had to substitute all of this in for y. Whereas number 5, it was just negative 2. Here is y minus 11. This is very similar to what we had to do back up here in number 1. Same thing. Alright, going on, number 9. Okay, the function bx equals 2x squared plus 3x. I'm substituting all of that wherever I see an x. Well, it's got to go in both spots. So let's do the first one. Two parentheses. Make sure you're at x squared. And then I'm going to square it. So don't forget that second square there. Plus three parentheses x squared. Now let's see what we have. So do parentheses first, x squared. Then if I remember PEM does, I have to do exponents next. So x squared squared is x to the fourth power. Then I have the two out front. No big deal. So now I just have two x to the fourth power plus this nothing to do in here, but I can times it by three and I get three x squared. So there's my final answer all done. Okay. And the last one that we'll do together, because I'll let you do the evens and check your work, 
is I'm going to circle 11P and wherever I see a P that is what I'm going to put in there okay so we have 11 P use parentheses raised to the third power plus 9 parentheses 11 P uh, squared okay so there you go so now if I start cubing everything 11 cubed is 1,331 p cubed because remember this 3 has to go to the number and the variable so don't don't forget that the number and the variable plus let's see 9 times 11 squared would be 121 and p squared Okay, 121, there's parentheses right there. Alright, so now the only thing I really have to look at is this at the very end. 1,331 P cubed and 9 times 121 is 1,089 P squared. And we are done. Okay, we are done there. Final answer right here at the end okay so you guys can all do that yeah there's some challenging questions but it's not beyond any of you because all we're doing is cubing and we're squaring and we're doing some multiplication the addition part you can't do anything else because again this is a p cubed and this is a p squared they're unlike terms something you learned already uh, involving like and unlike terms okay